Pro-Palestinian and pro-Israel groups have clashed at the University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA, as demonstrations over the war in Gaza continue across U.S. campuses. Nationwide rallies, during which there have been hundreds of arrests, showed no sign of stopping over the weekend. At UCLA, physical altercations broke out after a barrier separating the two sides was breached, an official said. The White House has insisted that demonstrations must remain peaceful. National Security Council spokesman John Kirby told ABC that the U.S. government respects the right of protesters demonstrating over the Israel-Gaza war. But he condemned anti-Semitic incidents that have been reported, as well as all the hate speech and the threats of violence out there. At UCLA, a pro-Palestinian encampment has grown in size in recent days, as has a group of pro-Israeli counter-protesters. The Israeli-American Council, IAC, organized the counter-protest. It recently said it had profound concern over the anti-Semitism reported elsewhere, including at Columbia University in New York City. Many pro-Palestinian protesters who spoke to the BBC there sought to distance themselves from anti-Semitic incidents. In some cases, they have blamed outside agitators. A group of 21 Democratic members of Congress has called on Colombia to end what they call the unauthorized and impermissible encampment of anti-Israel, anti-Jewish activists on campus, in a letter obtained by Axios. Similar calls for action had largely come from the Republican side of the political divide. In a fresh statement on Monday, Colombia head Dr. Manoush Shafiq said, Alternative internal options to end this crisis were under discussion after talks between protest organizers and the university failed to result in a deal. At least some of the protesters involved in the disturbances at UCLA appeared to have come from outside the university, the Reuters news agency reported. The two groups remained peaceful until Sunday, when campus police with batons separated them as they pushed and shoved each other and traded punches. It was not immediately clear which group broke through the barrier between them. We are heartbroken about the violence that broke out, the university said, adding that additional security measures had been introduced. Tensions flared at U.S. universities after the 7th of October Hamas attack, in which about 1,200 people were killed in Israel, and the retaliatory Israeli military assault that has killed more than 34,000 people in Gaza. In the last fortnight, a nationwide uprising has emerged which university officials and law enforcement have struggled to contain. They have blamed outside groups for infiltrating the demos. The movement seems to have been emboldened by the arrest of more than 100 protesters at Columbia after police were called to clear an encampment. Hundreds of people have since been arrested in locations across the U.S., many of whom had pitched their own tents on university grounds. The protests have also spread to Canada with a pro-Palestinian camp of about 20 tents now installed in the grounds of Montreal's McGill University. Activists in both countries are demanding a ceasefire in the conflict and that their universities, many with massive endowments, cut their financial ties or divest from Israel. They say that companies doing business in or with the nation of Israel are complicit in its ongoing war on Gaza, and so are institutions that invest in those companies. Officials in the U.S. have also scrambled to tackle alleged incidents of anti-Semitism, with a number of Jewish students voicing fears for their safety. At several campuses, they have spoken of incidents ranging from chants and signs supporting Hamas, a prescribed terror group in the U.S., to physical altercations and perceived threats. Northeastern University in Boston, Massachusetts reported, virulent anti-Semitic slurs in a statement on Saturday that accused professional organizers with no affiliation to Northeastern of infiltrating a student protest. More than 100 people were detained, it added. In other recent developments, among hundreds of other activists arrested over the weekend was Green Party presidential candidate Jill Stein, who was detained with dozens of others at Washington University in St. Louis, Missouri. The university said they had been asked to leave multiple times. Ms. Stein told local media that the arrests were a really bad look for the institution. Protesters at Yale University set up a new encampment after a previous one was cleared by police. The student newspaper reported California State Polytechnic University, Humboldt, has become the latest institution to request that students switch to virtual classes.
More than a dozen students were arrested at University of Georgia Athens on Monday morning. Kindly, like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments section.